chairman of the Nigeria Youth Democratic Party, NYDP, Bayi Avotu Johnson, today, January 7, 2021, presented a speech on the intention of the party to fully participate in the 2023 election before a crowd at the Unity Fountain, Abuja, where he stated that the speech is a sound reminder to Nigerians and the members of the party. During the speech, he also called out on President Muhammad Buhari and his administration on insecurity and how it has become a common norm in the society. To congratulate all Nigerians on entering the new year with great expectations, in sound health and hope ahead of the best in leadership in terms of quality service delivery by government and all private sector organizations and individuals. We decided as a political party to do the 2000, the 2021 year speech as a point of reminder to our people, to our members and fans across the world to note that we are very much around in planning of participating fully in the 2023 electionary activities where we shall, by the grace of God Almighty, present the next president of Nigeria in a free, fair and credible elections. We like to state here in that 2020 was a year, was really a year of so much pains for our people in terms of the coronavirus pandemic lockdown, which caused the death of so many Nigerian people and across the globe. And we appeal to all at Sundra to expect the best of all when our party takes power from 2023 because with our research on the pandemic because with our research on the pandemic proper we discovered that the virus will stay with us as long as another hundred years so we have to start discovering methods of real life with the virus just like the HIV AIDS and other viruses that we not left we are not going to be left out with he is assuring Nigerians in his closing remark that NYDP candidates will be people who will improve social amenities and quality service to all. And we call on governments to partner with experts on the virus to find a way out of the box on issues of aligning with the rules of the engagement in terms of social distancing, washing of hands, wearing of face masks and obeying the wall order of making such or making sure that the virus issues doesn't cost much more hardship on the people and destroying the economy of the world COVID-19 has come and we have to move our economy forward with the virus behind us locking down states cities and towns is an ancient pattern of fighting the virus because the more we lock down business places the more the economy breaks down and the more crime increases across the land like we saw during the NSAS movement where criminals took advantage to loot the properties of organizations and individuals to the ground so therefore we'll also appeal to the government to see through the eyes of the needle to find ways to save the lives of our people and the economy at these hard times in history. In the issues of insecurity across Nigeria, distinguished gentlemen of the press, we call on the President, General Muhammad Buhari and his administration to find a way around to solve this dastardly act happening all around Nigeria. Nigeria has never been this unsecured since we became a nation and the economy can't grow in a situation such as this. Mr. President, sir, we use this medium to address you. We appeal to you to look at the rates of human deaths in terms of kidnapping, extrajudicial killings, raping of our young girls, arm robbery, terrorism, and other criminalities so far since 2015 when you took over the affairs of leadership of our country, Nigeria. The rate is the highest in our history and it is hereby unacceptable. We ask you to use your powers as president to build 
a strong understanding in the values that says amends should be made in areas that requires amendment when it is necessary so that the right people can be appointed to deal with the insurgencies issues across the northeast and the northwest if you don't take action now that the world is watching you it will be recorded on your name that nigerians were ravaged by terrorists while you were president without considering to find a way out of the issue and on the issues of job creation distinguished gentlemen of the press we have proposed we have a proposed agenda project that are designed to create employment for our youths and we invite your administration to partner with us in providing 100,000 jobs supplementary employment to our to our people with the way the unemployment rate is raising on a daily basis in Nigeria it will become a danger for our people to come out of their houses in the near future without suffering from being kidnapped raped and even killed by criminals that also have to survive the hardship that have reached a crescendo Nigerians can enjoy a good life with good roads quality working hospitals healthcare facilities free and compulsory education for our children water to drink and security of lives and properties if we all can put our political differences aside and channel a way forward for Nigeria where the right people are appointed for the right positions and not where a builder would be employed to work as a banker while the banker employed to serve as a builder while making everything wrong like we have seen today in our polity government is expected to do more for the people but we have not seen such over the years so far government we can practically state here in that the only way Nigeria can move forward from this from this capacity to a much level to a much better level in living is when the rule of law is respected good governance and quality leadership is given consideration by the powers that be so therefore we call on all Nigerian youths to stay clear from any criminality in this season of celebration so that the small smiles remaining in the faces of our people can be seen before we take over come 2023 by the grace of God with the support of our great youth youth fan base across Nigeria before we let you go we love to let you know that we are already in talks with some of the state governors in the other political parties to join our team of successful we, we so we can together consolidate the gains of our democracy come 2023 we already have six very hard-working governors that will be announcing their departure support and membership participation in the 2023 general elections using the nydp platform to contest and complete their tenures in office when the time comes so distinguished gentlemen of the press we use this privilege to welcome them in advance as we move forward towards a great nigeria in a grand style we are a political party that have decided to add values to the lives of our youths across nigeria in the areas of job creation and preaching the gospel of peace and unity which must be seen as a catalyst for national development on this note we hereby take advantage to appeal to President Muhammadu Buhari to partner with us in providing employment to Nigerians using our financial inclusion with our new cryptocurrency coin called Zuga coin. The Zuga coin is ready to partner with the Nigerian Youth Democratic Party in creating 100,000 jobs each in all the 36 states and the FCT. These jobs are supplementary employment for the youths and it will go a long way to portray the image of Nigeria, fashioning our economy to suit the economic recovery agenda which have lingered over the years now. The Zuga coin is capable 
the NYDP is fashionable and our youths should be ready to be beneficiaries of this NYDP and Zuga coin employment scheme starting with the entertainment sector. Gentlemen of the press, we thank you so much for finding time to be here with us. As we